Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the PHG N95 respirator. We purchased these from Amazon and this is the listing. These respirators come in a box of 20 individually wrapped masks for $79.99. This listing has a 4.4 out of 5 rating with 1,577 reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So these are made in the USA and like I mentioned, they do come individually wrapped. This one is looking a little rough, but let's go ahead and open it up. They are very soft and thick. These are a ripped material headband, which personally are not my favorite. I do feel like these are less comfortable. It also has a nose foam and the nose wire is actually extremely flimsy. Not the best nose wire. I'm going to flatten out the nose wires and th since these are a bifold style. So I am getting a nice fit out of these respirators. I do feel like it's covering from nose to chin. The seal is very well all over the face down here. But like I said, the nose wire is a little flimsy, so it's losing its shape really quick. It does have a very strong smell, although it's not a bad smell. It smells like fabric softener, but it's definitely going to give you a headache throughout the day if you do wear it for a long period of time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 97.59 with a pressure drop of 13.7 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.24 and a pressure drop of 14 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.30 and had a pressure drop of 14.7 millimeters of water. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI results, these tested pretty well in terms of filtration efficiency. The pressure drop was a little higher than what we like to see, but it's not the worst, but there's definitely more breathable bifold respirators out on the market. In terms of fit and comfort, I do have a small face and they fit me not super tight, but I don't feel like I would be able to recommend these to people that have a larger frame face. And on top of that, these are the most budget-friendly respirators. They were almost $4 each, so there's definitely a lot more breathable and budget-friendly respirators out on the market right now. But with that being said, like I said, in terms of filtration efficiency and pressure drop, they are within the NIOSH requirements. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, please make sure to look at the description box. We're going to be leaving our address along with our website, which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.